April 5th, 2016. The regular monthly meeting of the Franklin Town Board was called to order at 7.35 p.m. by Supervisor Jeff Taggart. Present were Donnie Smith, David Grant, Dwight Bruno, Supervisor Jeff Taggart, Highway Superintendent Mark Lang, and Paul Warner. Absent was Garrett Sells. The minutes were read from the March 1st, 2016 meeting. David Grant made a motion to accept the minute. minutes as read. Donnie Smith seconded the motion and all present agreed. There will be a public hearing regarding the updated floodplain law from 2012 at 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday, May 2nd, 2016. The maps are available at the town clerk's office. The regular town board meeting will begin immediately following the public hearing. Highway Superintendent Mark Lang opened the bids for stone, liquid calcium chloride, heating oil, and diesel fuel. Um, car, or coal scale stone came in cheaper across the board. The 1A is $19 a ton, 1B is $16.25 a ton. 1ST? Okay, $16.25 a ton, and 1 and 2 mix $16.25 a ton. David Grant made a motion to accept Cobaskill Stone across the board. Donnie Smith seconded the motion and all present agreed. Three bids were received for li liquid calcium chloride. Gorman Brothers bid 89.9 per gallon, 89 cents. Soup Coat bid $1.08 a gallon and Peckham Materials bid 80 0.803 a gallon. Donnie Smith made a motion to accept the bid from Peckham Materials. Dwight Bruno seconded the motion and all present agreed. There were three bids received for heating oil and diesel fuel. There's a firm price fluctuating and a prepay price. There was discussion among the board if prepaying for heating oil and diesel would be tying up too much money this early in the year would be a good plan. Donnie Smith made a motion to go with a firm price using Rabbito as our supplier for all fuel, fuel needs. David Grant seconded the motion and all present agreed. Mark Lang rec only received one bid for pipe. My Mark will make sure to get the best deal possible on pipe and will check state prices. The board will table the bids for pipe right now. The town should gain approximately 25% more in chips money this year. The CHIPS money will be locked in for five years for the state budget. Mark will find out on Thursday. The broom has been being used since March 28th. The dozer has been here and been returned. All reclamation work has been done. The town must put up delineators every 100 feet at the gravel banks. The new garage doors are not working well. They want to wait on ordering the other three garage doors until these current ones have been fixed. Mark is still waiting for the truck box with twin augers bid to come in. They still will need one more box. Can the town put in a penalty clause on equipment bids to get things moving faster in the future? Um, Mark has been looking at excavators they would like to purchase. We could still rent to own the machine that we rented last year. Donnie Smith made a motion to rent the excavator for the month of May. David Grant seconded the motion and all present agreed. Mark Lang did some research on calcium chloride that they put on the roads. The MS material safety data sheet is in the town clerk's office. Mike Sabansky in Real Property Department recommends that towns opt out of the pilot program for commercial solar farms. Mike Wallace is still expressing concern about the lack of cell service. Verizon will be added on to the tower at the town shed. With no other business to come before the board, David Grant made a motion to adjourn at 9.35 p.m. Donnie Smith seconded the motion and all present agreed. Any additions or corrections? We have a motion to approve the minutes. Motion. Do a second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, um, Dwight, do you have anything from the Kellogg Foundation you got? Um, okay. Ken's here too, so he'll, he'll probably talk a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> uh, so we'll, have, we'll ask Ken then to present his program. All right. Uh, do the financials first. NBDC checking on 430 was 43,123. The Morgan Stanley portfolio value on 430 was 903,152. 
and dividends and interest earned in April was 2,108. Uh, the playground is officially open and has been inspected. Uh, there was some questions, I guess, raised at your last meeting regarding a problem with correspondence relating to last year's playground inspection, and I did get all of those questions resolved. We are in everyone's good gracious, good gracious, graces, whatever. Whatever. Thank you. Uh, Sonia Johns did our 1099s last year, and she will continue to do them hereafter, which we're glad of. The tennis and basketball courts again suffered winter damage, so we're going to go ahead and have those repaired. We're looking at a maximum of $1,200. Didn't bring it before you guys because it is a safety issue and we wanted to get it done as quickly as we could. So that's in the process then? Yes. Okay. Uh, Jim Carey always takes care of that with the people in Oneana. And they do a good job and, and he trusts them implicitly money-wise, so he knows mm -hmm. that it'll be a fair price, whatever it is. Uh, Porta Party was is scheduled to be installed again for the summer this week. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you remember last year, uh, Dave Tuthill hired Christian Walter as our playground inspector and general maintenance person. Okay. He's going to perform that dual role again this year. Uh, this Friday, Jim Carrey and I will be getting with Matt Sons from Morgan Stanley, our kind of semi-annual meeting. Uh, one of the things that we're going to discuss is the possibility of moving up to $15,000 out of the checking account to somewhere where we can earn interest. I mean, we're at $43,000 in the checking account. That's more, way more than we need to get through our season. So the first person we're going to talk to is Matt. I've already spoke to NBDC. I've got some information from them relative to their CDs, which is the only thing that's going to pay interest in it. That it's not very much unless you want to go out five years, and that's way too long. Right. And our next board meeting is scheduled for May 25th, 6 p.m. in the Treadwell Firehouse. And I would be glad to entertain any questions or concerns. Okay. Did uh, you come up with a person for the Delhi Kellogg Committee? I called Debbie about it. I'm out. Uh, I'm sorry, it didn't, didn't get bring up, brought up then. No. Uh, she she was hoping to twist Bill Moon's arm oh, okay. to take the post. Now she didn't bring that up at our meeting last week, okay. so I'm assuming she maybe hasn't twisted hard enough yet. Okay, because I know Jason Thompson. Uh, who, who resigned? Somebody from Treadwell resigned. I can't think who the board member was. I think it was Tom Briggs. Tom Briggs did, yes. Yes, yes. yes he resigned, and Jason and I said, well, I thought your group would be as good as anybody to, you know, find somebody to serve. And probably if you could do some contacting and get it done as soon as we can so we can get, okay. get the name to Jason. Okay. You know, if you could, Ken. I was getting on it. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, there. So, is that all you got, Ken? Is yep. that okay? Unless you've got any questions or concerns. Okay. Well, we've. Um, we'll go on to the cell tower amendment, um, land lease agreement. We are. They're looking to put Verizon on the cell tower here. And their contract is for $2,907 a month they're going to be paying now. Instead of what, around 14 Paul? So it's going to double our, our, our money out of the cell tower. <clears throat> and um, that's, I guess it's something for the town board to uh, discuss. You know, anybody who wants input. I talked to Will Stone this morning. That's a representative from, he was going to be here, but then he had a previous engagement. That he, he would have come if we mandated it, but it's quite simple. You know, the, just the updating the agreement so we have two services instead of one on it. <clears throat> so, uh, and that's basically what it is. And I did, uh, Talk to him about possible 
the need for cell service in Treadwell. And he said, we get them the, the I guess, in addresses, which I said to him, well, the Treadwell, now he can, whether you can pick it up by that or whatever. I got, uh, Don has got his phone number, I do too. We can keep communication to see if he can pull it up on GPS or whatever and, you know, see if there is a need or not. I said, well, there's, there's no service, so there's a need. <laughs> there's 63 dwellings in Hamlet, so is that something like that? Six, around 60 homes in the, in the Hamlet, so it makes a, a decent base to start by. And if they can get it down to Leon Corners or Treadle Corners or whatever you want to call it, you know, and over to the Ritz Farm because they complain all the time. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, just to hopefully we can get some type of service, you know, in, or interest in it. So they can go on to Verizon or whoever and see who might just hoping to get something inside in the treadmill. Jeff, what company? Is it are there specific companies that would do it or is this Well, this is Verizon? Crown, Crown um, the, the name of the company is Crown, uh, what is it? Communication. Crown Communications. So and they're the ones that put towers up, but they don't put a tower up unless they have somebody who wants to go on to it. So they have to negotiate with like a Verizon, like Verizon or AT&T or, AT or, or something like that, yeah. They've got to find interest out there before they, you know, put something up. And maybe they could, he so was saying. So is there any chance that we could maybe, at, um, I mean, so the individual who would put the tower up, he's basically the person who's going to go out and. And, uh, I think he's one. He's 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 one of the leg people that you know. Um, I think you know we'll look at the sites and stuff. And I said the town did have a site, you know, and uh, like we talked before, up on the corner. Yeah. Because yeah, sometimes they like to keep, you know, the old. And he said, "Are people in favor of it?" I said, "Yes. There's no doubt they they want service." There won't be any flack, I'm sure. So that may be a good thing too. But I think today's market, nobody's against them anymore. Ten years ago, oh, we don't want them. We don't want them. Now we got to have them. So I think that's uh, a mute thing. So we're in communication with that, also. But uh, I guess this is. Um, if you guys want to look this over a little bit and we'll go on with the meeting, you can affirm whether you want to sign that or not. <clears throat> Jeff, you know, does the county like? Um, the sheriff and stuff, do they use, if they get in an area like Franklin, do they just use radio communication at that point? I'm not sure how that works. Oh, that work. I'd ask Danny that. <laughs> he probably knows more about it than asking. I'm asking if they get over here and they, they're used to picking up a cell phone because they're in Delhi and they come into Treadwell and a lot I of I know Franklin. that they are given a, a cell phone by the office to use for work. Okay. So I would assume that yes, there's probably use, use for it available. for communication purposes, yes. So they would benefit, there's a health and safety thing. It might be right, too. Right, right, yeah. Yes, Mike? Um, the discussions we had, um, yeah. it, they told me you would need a swift letter of intent from the town. Okay. And you gave them a verbal yeah. that you wanted. Right. And then the town people have to sort of show that they want it. You know, they mm -hmm. know how to petition in this town. Right. So they probably should come out and petition. And what I'm asking for is the best site available for most coverage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's probably I have that's... two sites available. Right. And yep. they might end up picking that site right. of the accessibility. Um, but the other thing was that you know, they, they did the state highways. I think mm -hmm. you mostly get them on the state highways. What he's saying was the county roads. Right. That mandated to have it accessible to county roads, too. You know, uh, right. and try to pin them down on that. Mm -hmm. Because that, that would take care of 14, 16, right. Right. 21. Right. Um, and Franklin. I mean, not going to cover everything. Oh, I mean, it, the, the, I don't think they can. There's dead, even a serious, serious radio or whatever. You I mean, service. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the right, the right side is sticked. Right. You know, it's not just going to benefit Franklin. It's going right. to merit it and then right. everything. You yeah, know, well, so I, I think to them to we're right not going to, there's not going to be anything up towards Meredith because they already got their cell tower on the town 
right on Meredith Hill, Mountain or whatever it is right there. They've, you know, so that that. Yeah, I don't think you get South Tower service in the corner of Franklin and Meredith up in that area. Okay, well maybe try intermittently we do. We do. You do get it? Yeah. yeah, in the car I get it sometimes. Okay, I, I don't. I know they got South Tower. So it's rolling in Jackie's place. Because I know they got South Tower. You don't care, right? Right. Casey Hill Road is a very dangerous road. Yep. You know? Yeah. Yep. We've had two people die there. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, so that's going on that. Uh, I think we'll go on to Mark, I guess. We can move on. Oh, we got more topics. From last month, uh, all the vendors were notified about their bids mm -hmm. and okay. stuff, so that's all taken care of. Marabito, uh, the next day was notified, and then all of us have been within the next two days. So. Okay. Um, uh, I'm trying to see us out, some phone company doing some work on the <coughs> high-speed high internet. They're looking to put up their boxes and stuff. Tomorrow we'll be on Case Hill Blue, Blue School, Pomeroy. Oh. Working on that. We've been working on uh, America Road, uh, Sherman Hill. So, so what do we what do we have to do on that, Mark? I mean, just I just go out and mm -hmm. see where they're going, what they where they want yeah. to put it, and whether you have uh, your input, whether it's a good spot or not. Or yeah, basically, where they're uh, going to set poles and set their boxes and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Like on Sherman Hill, we had to get down and um, do. I think it was total of six poles. Oh. We're going to be done, you know, going up the hill and stuff, just tie into the existing stuff and then mm -hmm. go right off on that. It's going to be, you know, fiber on pole oh. for the most part. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just been going out and trying to uh, work with the landowners right. and work with them, mm -hmm. try to get it in the best, best positions. Mm -hmm. um, all the safety training for the employees as far as the highway that was done eight hour refresher um we got word the other day the state price went down on pipe again oh so that's making things a lot better and then um, so that fluctuates then from yeah it is does. it monthly or i mean how's that it's not a year price must be it's a no it's it's done through ogs office of general services and uh, just like on when you do the oil and the asphalt, when they do that, there'll be a base price and then an escalation and de-escalation. So that gets thrown in there and that usually goes month by month. Okay. It looks like the pipe, they're doing the same thing right now. Uh, we've been so much talk about, you know, the price gouging and stuff in some of the bids. Uh, right. Now all of a sudden everybody's watching this or trying to get the prices down. Fuel prices went down. Uh, I think should do. Yep, all this should go down. Yeah. Um, Henderson got back to me. Uh, they had forwarded the bid for that box. Uh, one similar to uh, what's on Jamie's, exactly like what's on Jamie's. Uh, the price is at $34,790. What was that? $34,000? Yep. And that's with the TAR system. Uh, everything we basically got on there except for um, we build our own spinners now because the way we mount them and stuff. So the spinner motor's in there, but not the brackets and stuff. We'll do that ourselves. Uh, we've come up with a lot better way to do that. Got, I mean, they, what they've gone to, if you want to tell them what, what you've gone to on the spinners, I, I was out there one day and didn't realize it, and they were telling me. Yeah. Used to be a post that had to be lifted up into a set of brackets and it was a real pain to do that. But now we, the guys devised a way to quick couple that and they come up with a design and uh, actually some of the manufacturers are looking at it too about doing that. Mm -hmm. Pretty it's like within five minutes we can put the spinner on and be out of here. So uh, he did put options in here, you know, for a pre-wet system, which I had asked him because down the line, I'd like to see us, instead of going um, salt, go salt brine. Um, that's why we went with this and put the tanks on. So like, we're out on the pavement, 
click a switch, you can put salt down, get to a dirt road, you can cut it, and oh. still run sand. So the, so the tank's up underneath the box then? Or yeah, the side, be right side on the, the sides. Or? Yep, right underneath okay. the, the box, but basically up on what we call the catwalks. Or, um, mm -hmm. He said, don't go with this because we could probably piece it out of our own stuff and uh, get it a lot cheaper. So um, this is on the Oneida County bid, and it's also on the OGS contract, so we don't have to bid it. And, uh, even if you bid it, you're never going to hit that price. Well, the last one was 40, 40, 40 plus, wasn't it? 40, 40. Yeah. So, so it's what, 10 grand cheaper? Is it 30 for it? It's 34. This one was 34? Yep, $34,790. About 10 grand. The screen or that is that that's that's we were going to decide on that. Oh, we, that's, okay. we ended up modifying our our screens. We have to run screens on them with the auger system, mm -hmm. um, just just because of the auger. We don't want somebody down in there. Right, right. But uh, we want to open those screens up, so we might make our own. Oh. Would that be on the twenty four hundred for the yep. screens? That's that'd added. be added to the thirty four. Yep. Okay. okay. So the base unit with those options. So the, some of that with what you want is thirty four seven ninety. Yes. Any more discussion? Any more questions? Why is it ten thousand cheaper? The other one was had, was down much cheaper. They they're just producing more. They opened up another factory. They're getting them out there quicker. Ten week turnaround now on this one, which was good. Before they had to, all in New York State, and they had a whole bunch of state contracts throughout the country. They <coughs> lost a couple of them. So steel prices are down. That's a big thing. Stainless is down quite a bit. Not much goes down in our world, except for milk price. It's kind of nice to see some of this stuff going out. Right. 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 Yep. I make a motion to purchase the bag. There's been a motion made to. Accept the bid on the box. Is there a second? And unless there's any more discussion, do you want to look at this? While, while you're looking at that, Mark, I'll impose on the side here. And, uh, on the cell tower thing, we'll just, while they're looking at it, yeah. they want yeah. to. Um, what's the thought on the cell tower service? Do you want to sign it and go forward with it? I'm in favor of it. I am. Yeah. Okay. Is there a motion to that effect? So moved. Second? Yep. yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Carried. Okay, we'll take care of that. Too. Thank you. I <coughs> actually think I just have to. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Thank you. Thanks. That's about the only thing. Uh, we're just out. They quit raining long enough, you know, doing holes and stuff and trying to get ready for smoothing out a little bit. But 
Not this Rage week. Now. <laughs> Rage ain't doing too well. <laughs> Not this right week. Now, and I, oh, I got a phone call from the lady up on Jackson Hill. Oh, yeah. And she said, thank you very much. They're doing a very nice job. That's nice, nice to hear. Town. Yep. Yep. She, she apologized for taking so long to call. She said she was great. <laughs> yeah, you know, but she she, yeah, she she called and said, you know, thank everybody for, you know, taking care of it. Mm -hmm. that, I really don't have much money. Okay, we've had the, is that any the committee? Are they getting the organized? Uh, planning, there was um, a couple simple subdivisions last month. The meeting is Thursday night this, this month. Um, you know, fairly quiet and just simple, not, nothing major going on. <coughs> um, there may be this month, there's rumor that uh, guys yeah, thinking about a minor flag lot off of Bob Road. We'll find out more on Thursday night on that. Okay, is there anything else? Are we missing anything? It seems too smooth, too quick. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you told me to remind you of something, but I can't remember. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. It was about the, um, I talked to Jim Lynch. Oh. And he said, if you've still got the invoice for Lefevers for the water uh, district, He's going to talk it over with Clyde, just pay the water district share of the bill. And didn't get one, just, and you got one for everything. And oh, you got one for everything. It's not split up. No. Okay, okay. And I'll have Jim, but this is, uh, the, it's not on one of the, um, no. And what it is, last year, the water district, they had to go under county route, what was that, 16 or 14? 14. 14. Because the main, the main is on the right hand side of the road and the water broke underneath the road. So there was a $7,500, I think $7,000 or $7,500 bill to repair it. And it's been, we, we Paul, and, Paul had issues with it and I, under, and I, I agreed with him and it just got forgotten. Well, what, the, what we want to do We'll get another invoice from the water district for their share of the bill. Because it originally was billed for both parties and the town pay it, which Paul felt that it, we shouldn't pay it individual bills. Bill. It was billed, wasn't billed to the town or the water district. It was billed to an individual. And the town can't pay, can't, can't pay an individual's, individual's bill. bills. Which doesn't have I didn't really, you know, it was something that we, Paul has, you know, didn't pay it on, and it got dropped. Well, the fever want their money. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll get an invoice made up, if it's all right with the board, for the water district share of it. So Paul can get, send them a check for in the, between $3,500 and $4,000 in that range. And if we can just have a motion that, that, that Paul can do that, you know, when, when Jim gets him the invoice for it, that's what Paul will write a check for the for the water district's share of it. Right? Is that what we want to do, Paul? I thought it was closer to three thousand, but I'm okay. It's well, been what, so long whatever the remember. whatever the amount is that Jim, you know, between three and three thousand five hundred, whatever the amount, you know, that is a water district share. To give Paul the the green light to pay that when he gets the invoice before the next meeting before the next meeting so it's done and I'd, I'd entertain a motion to that effect I'll, I'll get a motion on that. We'll say that. any more discussion okay. all in favor Aye. Aye. Here. Uh, Jim Basil he's going to be coming in he said he'd stop in tonight to discuss the solar issue solar farm issue <coughs> 